Hi, this is CERN. Um, one of the problems I've run into in OBS Studio constantly is green screens. Right, so you can see is like, you know, streamers and stuff. You might want to have a green screen, but they're always hard to deal with. You have shadows, you have bad lighting, and the system in OBS Studio is pretty, um, pretty basic right now. So I wanted to improve it, and one of the first things I did is I'm going to turn the Chrome key here. Is you can see how like I'm wearing a blue shirt. I've noticed I have to wear like very black or white shirts for the chroma key to work very well. I'm wearing a blue shirt to try to make it more difficult. Um, so you can see I'm getting partial pixels and all that. And for OBS shader filter, I added a filter called remove partial pixel. And when you turn that on, it gets rid of the partial pixels. It's not perfect or anything, but um, you know, you can, you can adjust it and make it better. So what that does is it goes and finds, for some reason, the way that Chrome key works here in OBS Studio is it um, kind of fades out the green as opposed to just finding the green and removing it, which is okay because you have some spillover and stuff like that, but it's not always necessary. So the remove partial pixel gives you a percentage number, and you just change the, the percentage, like... Uh, 90% get rid of anything with an alpha less than 90% um, so for but but not everybody has OBS shader filter so I wanted to improve the system and I did two things number one I integrated that technology into the chrome key so now we have a remove parcel pixel right here in the in the um, sliders so you can just slide it on over remove all those partial pixels whatever's appropriate here it is without the slider and by it, it can go to negative one which means it's not going to find anything or it can go to 101 and find everything just so you can you know just so you can play with it. So at 100%, it's looking for anything with partial pixels and getting rid of it, which is one. Um, that's not everything I did. I also wanted to add the standard green colors. And you can see right now it's at 485. If I, if I use the standard industry green colors, I only have to use a similarity of, of in the 200s, like 230 maybe, five I guess in this case. For the settings I had, and my, my remove partial pixel is much lower. Also, it's in the 60s instead of the 90s. So those two two changes I think will make green screening a lot easier for people, or at least somewhat easier for people. And I hope that uh, we can get this pushed through. So very much.